Hello, Gerardo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I am doing good. Very happy to be here with, with you <laughs> because you are the, the first one connected. Yes. And very happy to be waiting and expecting for the rest of you in the class. Okay. Right? Today is like last class. Yes, today is our final class. Okay. I am very sad because of that. Pregunto, pregunto. Eh, ¿Era hasta hoy o hasta ayer que teníamos que haber terminado la plataforma? Ayer. <laughs> no, ahora, no. La, ahora. Ahora es el último día. Es que a mí me dijeron que ayer 21. <laughs> ayer era. <laughs> Pero ah, todavía, sí. todavía tienen chancecito, al menos hoy hasta medianoche. No, 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 yo ya la terminé. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, pero todavía había chancecito de terminar en este ratito. Hello, no, no. hello, Jairo, welcome. Okay, important. I am going to ask you, please, to send the picture of the certificate in the group. Okay? Envíen la foto del certificado al group, please. Ya terminamos la plataforma, ya le di el certificado. Así que... Ah, en el porcentaje, cuando termina todo, ya tiene que tener un 100% de, 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 o sea, completada la plataforma. Y ahí le brinda eh, una parte que dice Ask for Certificate. No sé si la tiene ahí, tiene abierta su plataforma para poderla ver. Tengo abierta la plataforma a donde dice curso, progreso, fecha y discusión. Ok, okay. abra donde dice progreso. Progreso. No sé si nos podría compartir pantalla para ver dónde está. Ah. Y así le apoyamos de un solo. Hello, Elmer. Jairo, ¿cómo le ha ido con las de peladas? Bien, ahora es más tranquilo. Sí, ya lo veo más, más descansadito. Ok, Gerardo, no sé si no. Espérame, le voy a dar aquí. Estoy en una barra. Y solicitar certificado. ¿Ahí? ¿Por qué la barra que dice final me aparece en gris? Porque era un examen. ¿Cómo? Porque era del examen. Era de los exámenes finales. Las otras son tareas. Por eso son rojas. Ah, ah. Si se fijan, creo que midterm y final salen grises. Ajá, sí, 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 Ajá. sí, sí. Y las otras salen en rojo. Certificado, vamos a, ver. a mí no me aparece eso. Eh, muéstrenos, Jairo, no puede compartir su pantalla, ya que ya no vi la pantalla de Gerardo. Veamos. Ya le di permiso. Ahí está. Ok, eh. Ya terminamos todos los exámenes. Sí, vea. Ah, pues. Dice que para, para recibir el certificado de completar todos los requerimientos antes de la fecha. Dice, veamos en progreso. Dele para arriba. Ahí donde dice progreso. Por aquí. Ahí. Dele clic ahí. Solicitar certificado. Ahí está. ¡Tarán! De ver certificado. ¡Tarán! Oh. Oh. Eh. Tara, ta, tan, tan, ta, 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 Ajá, guardar como PDF. Oh, Ajá. Oh. Oh. Ahí le da a guardar. Ay, no, vamos a ver los documentos. <ríe> le da a guardar y de ahí le toma una captura y me lo envía al grupo. Ok. Excelente. Yay. Mr. Iván, do you have your certificate? Oh, yeah. Iván, your microphone. Sí. Me está dando el secreto de la vida. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, teacher, I have my certificate. 
the certificate. Certificate. Okay, can you send me the captura in the group, please? Mr. Marvin, do you have your certificate? Mm, good night, teacher. Good uh, evening. Yeah, good evening. Yes, uh, yes, I have uh, my certificate. Good. So I need you to send me a screenshot and in the group, please. Uh, ¿Se lo puedo enviar mañana? Yes, for sure. Okay, okay. Okay, Mario. Yo lo tengo en la compu. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Mario, do you have your certificate? Good evening, yes. Hi, please send me the, the image there. I have Jairo already, very good. Okay, okay. I have Jairo and uh, that's only Jairo. And yesterday, I sent you a little picture. Did you have the opportunity to check it? A todos les envié una foto ahí en el grupo para que preparáramos las respuestas. Yes. Angélica, yes. do you have your certificate, Angélica? The certificate from the platform. Yes, okay. I am. Yes, I, am. I have, I have. Uh, yes, I have. Okay, send me the image to the group, please. Okay. So yesterday I sent you this image to your uh, WhatsApps. And for sure, uh, this is for you to prepare a little bit of the answers, right? And here we have a, a little introduction uh, of yourself and sharing the most important details, right? Your name, where, where are you from? Where do you live? How old are you and everything? What did you like from this module? The first one. What did you learn? What was the most difficult part? And what are the expectations for the next one? Okay, what are your expectations for the next module? And those are the things that you need to share. In this case, here I have, a, we are going to start for sure by introducing yourselves one by one. You're going to do it. What did you like the most from the module? What did you learn? What was the most difficult part? And what are your expectations for the next ones? So this is what you need to share. Hello, Marvin. How Hello, fine. It's a pleasure to see you. Okay. okay, so I don't know if any of you wants to start. Quien quisiera empezar a compartir el pequeño examen oral que vamos a hacer. Eh, ¿Me? Ok, Marvin. No se okay. aflijan si me ven anotando lo que usted está hablando porque es para corregir después. Okay? Okay. La teacher anotó todo lo que dije. No. Porque es psicóloga. No me la olvidaba. Yo anoté. Mal gesto de anotar. <laughs> Imagine me as a psychologist. I would be like. <laughs> <laughs> and Angelica laughs because she, she works on that. <laughs> Angelica, como ahí trabaja, vea. <laughs> Por eso. Así les ha de ser, Angelica. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, Marvin. Okay. Sometimes now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Marvin Armando Cepeda. I have a 36 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Uh, I live in houses medium size. Uh, it's green color. Uh, uh, it has a two bedroom, one bathroom, living room, a terrace, and garage. I live with my wife and my and my dog. I am electrical engineer, and my favorite sport is uh, cycling. I can cook, dance but I can sing and play the guitar. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Continue, continue. The next question. Uh, what do you like about this model? Um, I like it, this model is the cheerful and didactic way to practice English. Uh, 
What did you learn? I learned to have a clear way to using singular and plural verbs. Also, the use and I can, I can. What was the most difficult part? Mm, the most difficult part is the pronunciation. Pronunciation? Pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation of some new word. Um, what are your expectations for the next model? Mm, learn a little more about other ways to conjugate verbs. Or, or the other. Very good. And so uh, to learn more about the verbs, the different conjugations, for sure you are going to do it because in uh, Principiante 3, you find your friend, the past. Okay. Okay. Ahí les paso el dato para que empiecen a investigar el pasado. Okay. <laughs> Un pajarito me conto. <laughs> <laughs> so please practice, practice. Okay, good, Thanks. Marvin. Very nice presentation. For Marvin. Gracias. Thanks. Okay, important when you say I have thirty six years old. Say I uh -huh. am. 36 I am years old. Okay, porque los años okay. no los tenemos. Solo en español tenemos años. Curiosamente. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I am thirty six years old. I have a two bedroom house. So. I have two bedrooms, or my house has two bedrooms. And I am an electrical engineer, right? An electrical engineer. Very good job, very good job, Mr. Marvin, at the moment of presenting, and I hope your expectations are going to be completed on the next module. Who's next? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> next, Dedocratic. <laughs> Um, Jairo, para que despierte, <laughs> para que lo active. Ya sabía. <laughs> Por eso no estaba haciendo así. <laughs> right. Siempre, siempre para, la, para lo bueno nunca sangre. <laughs> <laughs> A mí me pasó en una rifa, yo nunca me gano nada. Me pasó en una rifa que estaban sacando los números y todo. ¿verdad? Y entonces cuando dije, ah, ya me voy. Entonces, ¿por qué ya no me saqué nada? Me fui, salió mi número. <risa> <risa> Pero iba, iba cerca. Entonces dijeron, Nati, tu número. Salí corriendo. Salí corriendo, me regresé. Entonces, el mala suerte era estar ahí. <risa> me gané seis vasos de vidrio. Todavía lo estoy. <risa> ok, well, Mr. Jairo, go ahead. Okay. Hello, my name is Pedro Rivas. I am 38 uh, years old. I live in an apartment with my wife and one kid. Uh, my apartment have three bedrooms, elevator, elevator, excuse me. Um, I am computer engineer. I am a computer engineer. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Uh, my favorite sport is I practice soccer, but my favorite sport is soccer and football. I, I can I can dancing but I can sing and also I can't play any instrument. Uh, it's all. The next, uh, what did you like from this model? Uh, the, um, it's funny. 
it's funny. It's very funny. Yes, I like this part because uh, it's another way to to learn uh, to learn uh, this. It's no, it's no, it's not that. Uh, it's more fluid. Uh, it's more uh, the, the 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 relationship between a teacher and student is more uh, soft in this part and uh, this for me is important because uh, it's not much uh, it's not an obligation to 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 talk and to participate uh, the, the, this this is the the, the most like to me in this model. What did you learn? I learned. Uh, I learned. For me, is most difficult to talk in this mode is a is a comprobation for that and i i i don't like to speak too much because in this in the moment when i want to speak in my mind, uh, it's start to conjugation or verification rules. And this model is, I, 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 uh, in this model, I start to, 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 to talk a little bit. And what the most difficult part? I speak. I speak. What are your expectations for the next model? I speak a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, uh, speak is, more, you say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I don't. It's difficult. It's difficult because I, I read, I uh, listen. Listen. Not good, but mm, yes, yeah, no. I, 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 I understand. I understand, uh, but I don't like to speak. <laughs> okay, well, Mr. Jairo, let me tell you, first of all, a clap for Jairo. Thank you very much, Jairo, yay. Hey, Están dormidos. No, están ahí, todos estamos por atención. Todos están, y yo que voy a decir cómo digo esto. Ah, ok, voy a tomar... Okay, so uh, when you tell me that speaking is the most difficult part for you and you take the courage to speak in front of the group, it's a huge step, okay? Es un paso enorme. Si me dice, no me gusta hablar, no hablo, no hablo, no me gusta. Y lo hace. It's like, for me, I feel very proud. Yo me siento sumamente orgullosa. Because of that, because of that detail, and because you are not afraid of doing it. And I feel fine because you say that you were comfortable in the class, that you like the class, that it was fun, that you enjoy it, and that you speak. When you produce the language, 
even when you make mistakes, aunque nos equivoquemos al producir el idioma, háganlo sin miedo. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque esa es la única manera que vamos a salir de esa cajita de miedo del no poder. Y el único que nos dice que no podemos es aquí. ¿eh? Nosotros mismos. Y decimos, me van a oír y van a decir, se van a reír. No. Y les decía el día de ayer, el que se ríe y el que dice, ay, oílo hablando inglés, es el que no habla inglés. El que habla inglés y lo oye hablando inglés, se pone a hablar con usted. Y así sucede. A mí me pasó ahora en la mañana, sin ir muy lejos. Llegó un, una persona al lugar de un trabajo y yo contesté, le contesté una nota de voz a un docente en inglés. Y él me dijo, hey, ¿usted sabe inglés? Y yo, yes. <ríe> y me dijo, me tú, que no sé qué. Y empezó, empezó él a hablar su inglés conmigo. Quizás no hallaba, nunca había llegado con quien practicar ahí cerquita. Y me dice, I, next, I can speak English and everything. Da, 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 da. Después me lo encontré en la tarde. Y, oh, hi, how are you? Que no sé qué. Y habló <ríe> inglés. Entonces, so, it's a matter of, of going out of the I can't area and when you say for example uh, that you are that you want to become more fluent for sure you are going to become more fluent the, by speaking if you speak more you are going to become more fluent if you like to listen to music sing in english even if it's not that good right aunque no seamos ahí pavarotti sing in english and that's it's <laughs> it's good and when you say more soft This is something for the next module, but it's going to be softer. The module was softer, más suavecito, un comparativo. Soft, softer. And let's see, it was not difficult to learn, right? And I, I feel very proud because of that. American football, remember, American football. It's not American soccer, American football. And continue practicing. And I hope you continue developing your abilities in the next module and in the next one and in the next one and in all the modules, right? Never stop. Si ya iniciaron esta aventura, no se detenga. Finish. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Jairo. Thank you for sharing. Who's next? Me. Go ahead, Ivan. Okay. Uh, good night. Um, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, I am uh, Ivan Rivera. Um, I am 35 years old. I live with my daughter and my wife in Quesaltepeque City uh, in the small house. My daughter is studying school. She go to kinder, kinder grade. She has five years old. Uh, I like to listen to music and play soccer. The next, uh, what did you like from this module? Um, I think about this module is was very funny. I learned a lot of words in English. Uh, the next, uh, what did you learn? Uh, I learned about of yes or no question, the simple present uh, W H question. The present continues, uh, the rooms of my house, profession and, and occupation, a vote of the simple present short answer, vegetable, fruit, some and any, count and no and count no. And the next, what was the most difficult part? Uh, the most difficult part for me is hear words in English, also the pronunciation. Um, and what are your expectations for the next model? My, expect, my expectation uh, for the next model is uh, learn a lot of words using present continuous, past, present, and simple present. Thank you. Yay! 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 Good job. I, I like Mario's claps there. <laughs> Very fancy and elegant. Okay, Mr. Ivan, when important, 
And this is for everybody. When you start a conversation with people at night, you say, good evening. Right, good evening. Good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> good night, people. Okay. And you close. No, right? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> A la señora. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Excellent. That, that, that is when you use good night, right? The next one, when you say eh, she has five years old, you say she is five years old, right? She is five years she old. Is, okay. um, that the level was very funny. I, I like that one. We learned <laughs> occupations, right? And uh, for sure, to practice more pronunciation of words. That's your expectations for the next module, right? Mr. Ivan, very nice, right? Now your English is more fluent. I really like that. Eh, recuerdo las primeras participaciones que tuvimos. Ahí todavía notaba un poquito de miedo, así hablar, me va a trabar. Pero ahora Ivan, seguro, hablando, fluido. That's pretty cool. Congratulations, Ivan. Very nice job. Who's next? Me, teacher. Angelica, go ahead. Hello, everybody. Hello. Nice to meet you again. Um, my name is Angelica Reyes. I am married. I live with my husband and my son in a medium house. Um, I work at Prismar. I am a human resources coordinator. <laughs> um, I like um, I like work with people in different um, areas. Um, what else? I am thirty years old. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what did you like from this model? I love it, the interaction between teacher and the students. Uh, the Chinese is lost because it's so funny uh, every day. Um, what did you learn? Um, learn about the verbs, uh, about uh, uh, present continue. And what was the most difficult part? Um, uh, pronunciation about new words in the conversations or reading. Um, what are your expectations for the next model? Learn more uh, vocabulary and the, um, the verbs, uh, the past, the future, anyway. It's all. Okay, very good Thank job, you. Angelica. Very good job. <laughs> I don't want this count, Stacey. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> when you say, I live in a medium house, say, I live in a medium sized house. Okay. Okay. Because say, I live in a medium house, una medium de esas que ven el futuro. <laughs> I live in a medium sized house. Um, when you say, I like, I like to work. Right? Después de like, después de want, siempre ocupamos un infinitivo con to. I like to work. I want to work. Right? I love to work. That's important. And all the shyness, the shyness, la pena, right? Porque el, el Chinese, <laughs> Chinese, <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> when you said, when you said, <laughs> the Chinese is lost. The ¿A dónde se perdió el chinito? Sí, es cierto. De Chinese es lo que Perdí algún chino, por Dios. El bosque. El bosque. The shyness. The shyness is lost. And it is good. 
It is good. I think when you learn, when you learn something new, if you enjoy learning it, you actually do it. But if you don't enjoy learning something, even if you have a master in front, you cannot do it. I really love to teach my students the way I, I could have uh, like to be taught the language. Así como a mí me hubiera gustado que me lo enseñaran. Y eso es lo que pienso cada día cuando preparo la clase. Yo digo, no, aquí podemos hacer esto, podemos hacer aquello, esto, esto, para que lo entendamos y sea fácil y sea chévere. Thank you, Angelica. The discounts are coming later and the Chinese is here. I didn't <laughs> lost any Chinese. Okay, so thank you very much, Angelica. We're going to continue with Mario or Gerardo. Or Chinese. <laughs> Gerardo was dancing reggaeton in Jairo's presentation. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Gerard. Okay, Gerard, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. My name is Gerardo Alfaro. Yes. Uh, I am 25 years old. In the, my profession is manager of the gym. Um, I job uh, between uh, Monday and Friday. My favorite food is Chinese food. Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. My player soccer is Messi. Uh, I live in in I live in La Libertad. I don't live in the beach. Yes. <laughs> okay. My home is very, very short. Uh, the part, the, the, the home is a kitchen, a wide dinner room, a one living room, a one bathroom and two bedroom and a small and big. Uh, I'm sometimes a uh, play soccer uh, the Monday. Uh, the air exercise usually um, 6 a.m. Uh, I running Never six I am. <laughs> uh, I like this course is learn the preposition, uh, learn the parts in my house. Uh, how do you say aprendí? I learned. I learned. Uh -huh. I learned the name of fruit and names the 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 uh, food uh, this is the learn uh, uh, for me it is very difficult uh, learn english because i have a problem in the uh, how do you say the certain attention? <laughs> attention deficit. Attention deficit is the very problem because uh, I always practice today my my pronunciation. Uh, Is the last is what our expectative for the next module. Uh, my expectative is uh, learn plus English and practice my English. Uh, how do you say? Say it. To continue. Uh, continue with uh, the course. Only that. Very good job, Gerardo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gerardo. So 
uh, little things that we need to work on pronunciation. You have, for example, I job between, you say, I work from this time to this time, okay? I work from, y decimos la hora, entre esta hora y la otra hora, right? I work from, and let's see, eh, I live in La Libertad, yeah, my house is very short. Short is for people. You say my house is very small. small. Good. And a uh, dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's very difficult to concentrate. Yes. yes. <laughs> but uh, what I like is that even when you say, oh, un niño llorando. De mi casa. <laughs> Even when you say that you have attention deficit, you were there participating in class all the time. And whenever I ask you, you were paying attention. So uh, that is good. And that makes me feel good. <laughs> que aún con el, con el déficit de atención que dice que tiene, me hacía caso y estaba en, en, en el track siempre que le preguntaba. Angélica, tenemos aquí un caso. Que ten... ah. <laughs> good. Gerardo, uh, uh, it's good. The expectations that you have for the next module, right? Uh, to continue practicing, to continue learning. And for sure, if you started the, the uh, learning English, don't stop. And you mention it and please do it. Thank you, Gerardo, for sharing. Thank you very much. And Mr. Mario Saldivar, go ahead. Okay. Hello, hello there. I'm hello. Mario. I'm 41 years old. I live in a little size house. And I have two daughters, uh, my wife and my pet. I live in San Salvo. Um, I am assistant engineer. Uh, thanks God because I work at home office. Um, I like the movies. By the way, my hobby is go to movie theater. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, like from this model, um, this model was very entertaining. Um, I like it, this model because we practiced the conversation much more and it was very enjoyable. Um, what did you learn? Um, I learned more vocabulary in the real with punctuation mark pauses. Um, most difficult part, the the greatest difficulty was reading, respecting the pauses with punctuation marks uh, and conjugate sentences. Um, my expectation for next model, my expectation is to continue practicing conversation and continue learning new vocabulary. For and sure. That's all. For sure you are going to do it. Thank you, Mario. Very nice presentation. Very nice production of the language. Cualquiera me dijera que ustedes no son principianteros. <laughs> but because you have you have changed a lot and you have done a very good job. And let's see a nice pronunciation of the verbs in past, Mr. Marvin. And for sure, for the next module, you are going to use it, okay? Lo van a usar en el otro módulo, así que pónganse las pilas con los verbos en pasado. Ahí le voy a pasar unas listitas que tengo. Okay, so important. So uh, after listening to all of you, after uh, sharing all your ideas, uh, I can wrap it up in uh, some important things. I am going to go over these ones before. Voy a ir a esta primero. All of you want to continue learning. All of you want to continue practicing and that's fantastic, right? Remember, why did you start learning and set that goal? ¿Cuál es su objetivo de aprender el idioma? Escríbalo en un papel ahí. Escríbalo en un papelito y pégalo ahí donde siempre se vea todas las mañanas. Si se ve en el espejo del baño, pégalo ahí. Acuérdese por qué está trabajando, por qué lo está haciendo. Ok. And find a routine. Find a routine to practice. If you have, for example, five or 10 minutes free on your day, find a routine. Read something, listen to music, watch videos, watch movies, watch series and everything in English, 
right? But find a routine that every day at that time you do it. If you in English with subtitles in English, uh -huh. with subtitles in English, and uh, it is going to help you to get vocabulary and also to practice your ear, right? Practice your listening at the moment of reading and also listening to the series. Make mistakes. It is good to make mistakes, right? It is necessary because if not, you are not going to prove yourself that you are advancing. For the next one, practice a lot, right? Practice a lot. Practice is going to give you perfection. Why? Because uh, the more you practice, the more you are going to learn. Find something that you like and do it in English. If you like, for example, to listen to music on Spotify, there are a lot of podcasts. There are a lot of channels to practice English. If you like YouTube, there are a lot of videos in English. There are a lot of videos for grammar, for vocabulary. Practice, right? If you like reading, find articles in English, right? But practice a lot of vocabulary and get as much vocabulary as possible. But important, if you are going to learn vocabulary, learn complete phrases, not only little words. No aprendan solo la palabrita sola. Búsquenla en frases completas. Búsquenla en artículos ahí chiquitos, en oraciones completas. ¿Para qué? Para que sepamos cuándo la podemos usar, en qué maneras, right? This tip that follows, uh, it's very important. Record yourself. This is a little tip that I do with all my students. And I say, create a little group in WhatsApp with your wife or with your husband. And take him out of the group. Haga un grupo ahí con su esposo y de ahí lo saca del grupo para que le quede el grupo listo. Y ahí todos los días grabe una nota de voz con todo lo que hizo en el día. In English, record it. Today was a very good day because I went to the supermarket and I bought tomatoes and mangoes and potatoes and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And then listen to your audio. And then for the next day, you will say, hey, I say tomatoe. Uy, no, it's tomato, right? Dije potatoe. No, it's potato. Dije parents, he has parents, right? So every day, every day, it's going to give you the benefit of practicing your English. Si no quiere contar lo que pasa en el día, busque un artículo chiquito. Busque un artículo, léalo. Léalo en inglés y grábese leyendo. Okay? Si, eh, si no, en YouTube hay un montón de artículos que tienen la pronunciación. Grábese, escúchelo y de ahí escucha el video. Y vamos comparando, right? Practice your English. Read new words and phrases. Read about the things that you like, right? If you like cooking, look for recipes in English. If you like sports, listen to the news in English, right? If you like, for example, uh, animals, look for videos in English, right? The next one, message people in English. That's what I always say. Si escriben en el grupo de inglés corporativo, si escriben en el grupo con algún amigo de aquí de, de la clase, in English, okay? In English. Even if it is not correct, but the other person is going to help you to interact, okay? Watch movies in English with English subtitles. It can be first with English uh, voice and Spanish subtitles. Then the second time that you watch the movie, English voice, English subtitles, okay? Pueden ver la película la primera vez con subtítulos en español. Para entenderla, más o menos. De ahí la segunda vez que la vean, in English, okay? Use a dictionary. Use the dictionary. In uh, the internet, there are a lot of very good dictionaries. I really like word reference. I'm going to send you the name here on the chat. It is a very good... Uh, word reference it's a very good dictionary that you can use and also the pronunciation of words in google google has the, the option of giving you the pronunciation and it gives you the mouth and the movement and everything it is fantastic use it 
right? If you don't want to use that one, go to YouTube and click there. Pronunciation of vocabulary. Y ahí le va a dar un montón de video de cómo pronunciar la palabra. So, listen to the pronunciation of words. Imitate the sounds. It is going to be very beneficial for you to improve your speaking. Investigate a lot. Be curious. Listen to music in English, but with the lyrics. Use the lyrics. Si no, ahí andan invocando cosas. <laughs> <laughs> at three in the morning. <laughs> no, practice your English, listen to music, but use the lyrics and try to imitate the song. Okay, use old English songs. Utilicen canciones de inglés viejito. No me voy a cantar a Eminem ahí, vea. Si lo puede hacer, fantastic. That's perfect. I, I don't get angry. I like it. I like to do it, but it's difficult for me to do it, but it's possible. So. Listen to music in English with the lyrics. It is very important. That's a very important part, okay? And as you were mentioning that uh, reading is a very important part of learning, we are going to finish our module practicing a little bit of reading. But this reading is about the importance of learning English, right? And it's it. Um, I am going to give you first some seconds for you to analyze the paragraph and tell me the words that I am going to mention. Le voy a decir diferentes palabras y ustedes me van a decir en qué oración está la palabra que les estoy diciendo. Si les digo, por ejemplo, la palabra memorizing, where is it? ¿En qué, en qué oración está la palabra memorizing? At the four line. Mm -hmm. What is the sentence? Many people uh, spend many time people memorizing time. words out of books. Very good. Communicate. Are also spending time speaking the language and trying to the communi communicate. communicate. With very, very good. Others. It's spoken. Spoken. In um, language sounds when it is spoken. Very good. The next one. Immerse. The more you immerse yourself in the language. Very good. The more you immerse yourself in the language. Very good. Let's see. Discipline. It takes a, it takes lot, a lot of dedication of and discipline to learn a new language. Very good job. The next one. Uh, here. Here. You are able to hear yeah. how English. Very good. You are able to hear how English speakers answer. The next one. Sentences. Um, even writers and sentence on paper. Very good job. The next one. It's going to be along. Along. Other things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language. Okay, it's not as long. I say along. Turn on the radio and sing along to songs Very in English. Good. English. Turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English. What is the meaning of along? Solo. No. Lejos. Along. Along con E al final es solo, but sing along. Que... Cuando decimos cante al compás o cante al ritmo, sing a along a lo largo, right? Sing along to songs in English, right? Cantar al ritmo. The next one, native. Native. Oh. 
Native. Uh, listen to a much easier you can be hung spoken by native English speakers. Native English speakers, very good. However, 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 until you make the language useful to useful. yourself. Very good. When you make the language useful to yourself, right? When you realize that the English is going to be beneficial for you, right? It will become a part of you. The next one. Let's see. This is the last one. Tips. Tips or things. Uh-huh, tips. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to Asamocho. Very good, and the rest, you see? Good, <laughs> it was very good, you see? Very good, when you were finding words. Esto les ayuda a trabajar la memoria, a trabajar su eficacia al momento de buscar palabras. It says, and I am going to read the paragraph for all of you and for you to understand. Después le voy a preguntar a qué se refiere el párrafo. Así que pilas ahí todos. It says, learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become a part of you. Doing all those other things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. When you use the words and phrases you have learned to communicate with others, the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speakers answer, answer you so you will know the language sounds when it is spoken. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can being spoken by native English speakers. Turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English or watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand what is going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. So, new words or new vocabulary that you have? Palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo? Sooner. Yes, sooner. Sooner, más pronto. Mm. Es el sim. comparativo de Zoom. Which? Sim. sim. Parece. Parece. The next one. Uh -huh. We have sim. Right? Uh, we have sooner. Another one. Which one, Marvin? The sooner you can start effective communication. Ah, it's here. The sooner. The sooner. There you are. Here. Yes. Sooner. Lo más, eh, entre más rápido, entre, pues de aquí la oración de sería, entre más te sumerjas en el aprendizaje del idioma, más rápido vas a empezar a comunicarte de manera efectiva. Okay. Immerse, right? Immerse. Any other one? New words, new vocabulary? Remember, remember me, Bain? Bean, Bean, Bean. Where is it? Where is it? You can be spoken by native English speaker. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Bean. In this case, when you say uh, to listen to it as much as you can, being spoken, que esté siendo hablado por eh, personas nativas. Being spoken, que esté siendo hablado, right? 
con, que, con, que lo hable algún nativo. Ok, good. Any other one? The spoken is. The past participle of speak. Speak es el verbo normal, hablar, speak. Spoke es el verbo en pasado y spoken es el participio. Ado, ido, hablado en este caso. Oh. You are going to check that on the present perfect. The next. No, it will be. Too? The, no, not the next one. The next one is the past. El, the next module is about the past tense. I guess es su amigo el pasado. Difficult, but the next one, present perfect. Uh -huh. Us? Yeah. 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 Which one? Uh, us. As long as. Uh, listen to us much. Ah, let's see. Listen to as much, tanto como as puedas. Much. As much of it as you can, tanto como. That's the meaning of us, as, us. But this is your pronunciation, you, so you will know now. So you will know now, how, sorry. Es que ahí se me quedó un circulito. So you will know, and this is the, the word, how. It's, it is an H, right? How. <laughs> How. So you will know how the language sounds. So you will know how the language sounds when it is spoken. Any other one? No more new words? No more pronunciation questions? Are you sure? If not, we are going to divide the paragraph so my students can read. One, two, we have three. The next one, four. The next one, five. And the last one, six, and lucky one, the last one that it's going to read only a little paragraph. <laughs> okay, let's go in order of the list. No vamos a ir en el orden de la lista. Gerardo is the first one, Ivan, number two, Jairo, number three, Marvin, number four, Angelica, number five, and... Let me see, chen, chen, chen. who's number six? Mario is number six. Okay, Gerardo, you start. Learning English. Oh, it's sorry, sorry. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Continue, number two. Excuse me. Practice. Uh, many people spend time memorizing words of, of books. Uh, some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, I will never become a part of you. Doing all these other things are okay as long as you are. Also spend time speaking the language and try to communication with others. When you use the words and phrase, you will learn to communicate with others. The language become more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speaker and where you so well know how the language sound when it's spoken. Other good tips for learning a new language. 
are to listen to as much of it as you can be spoke by native English speakers, turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English or watch television shows. That are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand that what is going going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other speak English speakers. Hey, excellent job, my dear students. You see. The sooner you start practicing, the more effective you are going to become at the moment of speaking. Well, everybody, for me, it has been a great pleasure to serve you, and I am very willing to see you in the next modules. Yo no les digo adiós, les digo, los veo en unos módulos porque me lo voy a encontrar más adelante. Más nativos. <laughs> yes, Angelica. Will you be the teacher of the other model? I don't know. I hope that happens, right? Casi nunca me pasa que me ponen uno y otro seguido. Creo que a ninguno de los teachers les pasa, pero así va a seguir cruzando mi dedo para que pase. Okay. Yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear students. Have a beautiful night. Continue learning, continue practicing, and continue doing the fantastic job that you do. Okay. For me, it was a pleasure to be with you every night, and I hope to see you soon. Okay. Thank have you, a, teacher. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you very teacher. much. See you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. And tomorrow you have vacation, okay? Okay. Mañana hay vacación. Thank you. Bye bye. Creo, y si no estoy equivocada, la otra semana. Okay. Así que hay que estar pendientes del correo, de toda la información y de todo lo que nos envíen, ¿ok? okay no nos dejen okay. en vista. <laughs> bye, bye. Okay. Okay. A big hug for everybody. Love you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.